Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. My name's GBay99. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and, of course, a wonderful past week. It's been a while since I last uploaded a video to YouTube, although I have been working on a few things this past week, and today I want to bring you guys a bit of a vlog-type video explaining why, as well as hopefully reminding you of a little something. Anyway, after making my last video about a week ago, I had one of those moments that just sort of crushed me. I'm sure you guys have had this before, when you unconsciously almost think of every Every mistake and bad decision you've ever made in your entire life at once and the stress of every problem you're dealing with all throws itself onto your back well yeah that's basically what happened to me I don't want to go into any details of my personal life or bore you guys with anything like that but basically that's what's been preventing me from making my videos I haven't had anything this past week that I have felt really in motivated or inspired about anything I want to talk about or super motivated to make a video in general and I've always struggled with that question of if I don't feel motivated or inspired to talk about something, should I make a video in general? Should I pump anything out even if it's not any good? And I've always ended up saying no for the most part, so I took some time off this past week to relax and collect myself. Those of you who follow my stream and or follow me on Twitter know that I actually have played a small amount of League since then, streaming once and tweeting about playing a few games of League twice, but other than that, I actually haven't played much League since last week either. That is at least until last night when I had a really weird experience. Last night I got on League and just felt super motivated to play solo queue for some reason, which can be pretty dangerous, I'm sure you all know. I hadn't played in a week, I got on, I ended up playing two games where I lost both of them since I was still really rusty, and those two losses ended up getting me demoted. That of course motivated me to try even harder the next game, so what I did was ate a huge bag of peanut M&Ms, I go into game, lock in Aurelia, start blasting Freebird on repeat, and things just sort of went crazy. I ended up starting the game off 9-3 and three on Aurelia, winning my lane very hard while the rest of the match was really even, except the enemy bottom lane, the enemy AD carry, got super fed. Both teams were fairly equal in gold, we both had one fed carry, and most of the game, everyone, everything was super intense. Every team fight ended with only one person living, both teams got multiple barons, I think our team got the first fifth dragon, and we got multiple fifth dragons. The game ended up going 70 minutes and resulted in us having a crazy close victory just barely after I defended the base 1 versus 4 picking up 2 kills as they tried to take our nexus. I don't think I've ever had a game that close before where the enemy team was actually taking down the nexus but then we were able to fight them off and end up winning. It was probably the closest game of league I've ever played or at least the closest one I've played in a very long time and it was just a really weird experience. The free bird, the adrenaline pumping, the sugar rush from all these M&M's, peanut M&M's. Uh, it, it was such a weird experience. I felt kind of icky after it. So afterwards, I went upstairs, drank a glass of water, and stepped outside for a second. It was 3 a.m., pitch black, and for the first time in my life, I think, I noticed that outside, everything was completely silent. There were no bugs chirping, no birds tweeting. There was no rustle of the wind or any leaves on trees or the grass making any sound. Everything was completely silent, and things were just really weird. It was maybe the most surreal experience of my life. It was such an odd thing, staring up at the night sky, looking at all the stars, and then just hearing dead silence. Things Thinking about this past week, it was like, I felt like I was Buddha or something, I was being enlightened. Although I didn't really have anything to share afterwards other than this interesting story, or maybe not so interesting. But either way, I do have a point with this video that I sort of want to tell you guys about. Uh, just a little bit of a reminder to you guys about content creators, League of Legends pros, and pretty much anyone that does anything in League of Legends or the YouTube community in general. According to YouTube, about 70% of my audience is under the age of 25, so that means most of you guys are at a pretty young point in your life, or relatively so. I want you all to do me a favor here. Think about all the stuff that you've discovered about yourself over the past year. Seriously, you pause the video if you have to. Just take some time and think about everything that you've discovered about yourself over the past year, maybe past few years, your likes, your dislikes, any sort of relationship to friends or to any romantic relationships, what you want to do with yourself for a career, for hobbies, what you want to study in college, what you want to major in, what you've chosen to major in if you're in college or graduating college, all this stuff that you've discovered about yourself. And then please keep in mind, YouTube 
YouTubers, LCS pros, pretty much everyone that works in the League of Legends community as a content creator of some fashion, we're all the same age as you guys. All of us go through the same paths of discovery, learning stuff about ourselves and what we're doing with our lives. We go through the same things that you guys do. The only difference is that we have a lot of people watching, of course. The next time you see me go AFK on YouTube or maybe see a pro make a seemingly illogical decision with a transfer or something in the LCS, or if you see a writer or content creator leave the league community for almost no reason just going into retirement, try to keep all this in mind. It's very easy to to take an outside perspective and look on stuff like this thinking, hey, how could this guy possibly make this decision? If I was in his shoes, I would never, I would, I would never do that. You know, think about Lamia Zealot, who quit League to retire, moved to Taiwan and learn about Chinese culture when he was one of the most, he was on Fnatic, one of the most successful teams in the world. How on earth could someone like him make a decision like that? But in the end, you can never really fully understand unless you are him. Unless you're in the person's shoes that you're looking at, you can't really understand what's going through his mind or what he needs to do with himself at this point in his life. We're all working in an industry that's really... I mean, this industry didn't exist in all of human history until a few decades ago. And the sorts of risks you have to take to get to where a lot of people go, I mean, it really teaches you a lot about yourself. I think I'm starting to ramble a little too much here, so I'll cut the video off now. But uh, anyway, thank you all very much for taking some time to listen to me here, listen to me ramble. And I hope I've given you a little bit of a perspective as to what the reasons are that people go AFK or decide to take breaks from YouTube or retire as a league pro, even if they don't need to, stuff like that. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I plan on streaming and making a lot of videos this week very frequently and binging on League a few times as well if you guys want to watch. Of course, my stream is linked down in the description if you want to go see that. And on YouTube, I'll be getting a lot more videos out. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be getting daily videos out this week or if I want to do every other day to transition into our old schedule or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to be getting content out again and my little hiatus is done. So I hope you're looking forward to seeing more of me. But of course, regardless, whenever you do end up seeing me next, until then, thank you very much for watching. Good luck in solo queue and have a wonderful day.